Now, hello everyone. I think now I am actually live. It's been a while. Let me fix the camera a bit. It's been a while since I did uh, an English live streaming. And uh, this live, st live streaming is pretty special. Why is it, is it special? Because, uh, well, every live streaming is special. But uh, this live streaming is in English in honor of uh, our friend Scorpion81 the main fracture modifier well, well one of the main fracture modifier developers because he did one amazing thing this 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 was this idea was born uh, between south martin and myself and cibos 3d because we have that amazing add-on that is molecular and molecular was an add-on to make a granular simulation, granular simulations inside Blender. And it, it wasn't a pretty old add-on, and it was kind of abandoned by its uh, creator. So we took the, the code and we reviewed it, and we were unable to fully port it to Blender 2.8 because it required more changes than the usual add-on. So then, Scorpion81 entered into the game and he took over the idea, he modified the code, he adapted the code. It was not just him, because he based his work in other person's work too. So this was based in the Pavel, Pavel Blend code and he ported it over to, to, uh, to Linux, I think, or to Windows, I'm not sure and fix it some things because it was not working, not fully working in 2.8. Well, not, not fully working. It was not working in 2.8. Mission animation and stuff, fluid interaction with objects. Yeah, fluid interaction with objects. So why did I say fluid interaction with objects? Because we are going to use molecular for that. This is not about Mantaflow, that by the way, I just had some news about Mantaflow that uh, it just received another update. It's just code cleaning, Elvim has been removed and the old smoke uh, modifier has been fully removed. And now in the Mantaflow build, we will have just Mantaflow. It's, it's, it's something that is needed. So no new features, but the project is ongoing. It's, it's advancing. So we are going to use Molecular for this. And we are going to use one feature that one experimental feature that you could get from uh, developer.blender.org that is the um, remesser, the particle remesser that uh, Scorpion81 Martin is doing for uh, with Open OVDV, OpenVDV. So you are going to be able to test this feature if you use Windows in our version of Blender in our Bone Master you will be able to uh, get our version from Graphical. It's not updated yet. In the current version, mm, there is no uh, particle measure. But of course, if we will, it should be around here. Here. So this is our build. I'm going to release this for Windows. For Linux, we have uh, instructions on how to build or uh, bone master version or it's just blender 2.8 with some minor modifications so for linux you have instructions in my github and for windows you are going to be able to download uh, from here so uh, you can also download uh, molecular from uh, scorpion 81 github so it's easy you come here and i'm going to put this in the chat you come here and you can uh, download the latest version of Molecular for Blender 2.8 for Linux, Mac or Windows. So that's it. Let's start with the project because this is going to be a one life project. So what are we going to do? Well, we have this glass of water. We have these two pieces of ice. And what do we want to do? Well, we want to make them float. Are we going to be able to do that? Let's see. So we have the object. The object is just a, a let me enable overlays. So the object is just a glass of water, an empty glass of water. 
we are going to fill this glass of water. And we have these two bags, uh, buckets or squares of ice. And we want these squares to be floating into the water. So what do we, what do we have to do? For starters, we are going to fill the glass of water. So now I'm going just to start with the project. No more delays. To the point. So let's reduce this. Okay. And to fill the glass of water is just filling the glass of water with particles. So to, the, to fill the glass of water, we need the inner part of the glass. Now we separate this. And we want this part, just this part. And we close this. Why? Because we are going to fill this with particles. Okay? So now let me check orientation. Face orientation is all wrong, of course. So flip normals. And that's it. Let's disable uh, face orientation. Okay, now let's go to uh, particles. It may be a fast project. Let's go to particles and let's create, instead of using a number of particles, we are going to enable inside source, we are going to meet from volume. Let's enable. Uh, okay, uh, subdivision. Let's, uh, yeah, let's apply these modifiers. That's it. Uh, the same for this. So this one and this one. Okay. So go now. Now go here and from volume and instead of jitter, we are going to use grid. Grid emission. Why grid emission? Because this is going to allow us to uh, emit all the particles without them interpenetrating. So we are not going to have explosions or crazy explosions when the particles are born. So we get this. We may need to increase, ah, of course, first of all, frame start one, frame end one, because we want all our particles to be uh, born in the first frame of the, anima of the animation. So that's okay. Uh, resolution, it's for the time being, it's okay. And let's go to uh, render. And inside render, we're going to say known and viewport display and point. Why? Because we are not going to render the actual particles. We will render a mess of the uh, water, of the liquid, not the particles. We don't want spheres. Spheres are not water. Spheres are not liquid. Right? So let's go. Let me focus this. Hello. Okay. So let's reduce the size to 0 0.1, for example. It's not bad. 0 point, point 0 0.02, sorry, point 0 0.01, point 0 0.02, point 0.015. Okay. And one important thing is that we need those particles to be emitted inside of the glass of water. So we need to reduce the scale of our water and we need to increase the resolution of our grid. Okay, so that may be enough. Enough. Okay. That could be fine. We'll see it later. So now 15 and now we need 0 0.01. I don't know why this is like move it it's emitting more from the right part than from the left part i don't understand why well doesn't matter we can always move it a bit okay now let's configure the collision the collider for the glass of water we're here collision and oh let me check that everything is all right. Yeah, perfect. 
Oh. Okay, perfect. So uh, the collider, we don't want any friction in the in the glass. So point one will be okay, and we want kind of damping effect. We want to damp the 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 bounciness of the particle. So point seven will be okay. A bit of randomness, like point two, could be fine, and we don't need to randomize uh, friction in this case. So remember to save after every step. Every step, this is uh, pretty important. And nothing more, we have everything. So now, we can do, uh, well, if we press play, hello, I'm pressing play. If we press play, everything breaks. What's happening here? Oh, my scale is not applied. That's a big problem for simulation, for physics simulations. Maybe it's the scale, it wasn't at one, yeah. That's not cool. Hi, Mag9. Hi, CBS. Oops, my 2.8 crashed when I tried to follow your steps. Why? It shouldn't. Uh, or uh, Bone Master is based, this, this uh, compilation is based on today's build, on today's master. So you can download today's master to try to do this. Okay, let's do some rebirth and let's give this 100 frames of lifetime, 100 frames. And it's weird, but it's not working correctly. Why is it taking so long to simulate just a bunch of particles? Okay, it must be the scale. So we are going to Multiply all the scale by 10. Let's multiply everything by 10. Scale by 10. Because we are working with, maybe the particles are too small and it's being hard to the system. Oh no. Apply scale. Always remember to apply scale before doing anything related to simulation. Now, okay, and um, also the plane, and now let's apply scale, apply scale, apply scale, apply scale, and apply scale. Okay. You know I'm doing I'm doing this without having tried this before, right? Well, that that's not true. I did a small try yesterday, and it worked fine. So I wanted to share with you this. Uh, wrong version. Why? No, you can use master. You can just use master. The only thing you are not going to be able to do is to mess the liquid, but you can use uh, spheres to check the, the liquid uh, simulation. So you can use master. There's no problem with that. So let's try again. Point 0.1, this should be fine. Oh, maybe it's the, the collision of it's too complex. No, that's it. Okay. Now we are fine. Here we have for simulation of particles and they're falling. And, and that's that. They're falling. This is not liquid, right? We can hide the glass of water and we can hide this. Um, we cannot exactly hide this uh, object because in this case, if we had this object, we are going to hide the particles. Uh, so we can use a modifier that is called build. And this build modifier is going to uh, build the geometry uh, along a duration of time, no? a duration of frames. But we can tell this modifier to start doing the building in frame 1000. And that's it, the object disappears. So now we have four particles and it's not liquid. So let's go, let's rename this to liquid and this to glass. Okay, let's go to the liquid and we are going to change the physics. Now we have Newtonian. We don't have Newtonian. Uh, we don't want Newtonian. Did you know that you can apply a scale to all objects? Yeah, I know. But I don't know. I know that, that I can apply scale. 
it's just I was just applying object by object so we can change this to fluid and then we will have some kind of fluid behavior okay but it's crazy hey we have popcorns popcorns great no and this is crazy and this is normal it's normal that it's crazy because defaults for uh, fluids with particles are not pretty good so you we have uh, different options but for starters, the main important thing is to change it to Berlet. Okay, we change to Berlet, we give it some subframes, and then it's much more stable and it's much more fluid. But we don't want to use subframes here. Why? Because we are going to use molecular. So let's disable these subframes and let's do one more thing that is enable velocity as uh, the color for the particles. So we go to uh, this is not render no view per display and in view per display we enable velocity so we can see the velocity and everything is crazy again okay we have our fluid ready we can give the fluid more resolution if we want but for the sake of the speedness of this uh, live streaming I'm going to use uh, low resolution simulation so we go to molecular if you installed molecular, it's just a zip file. You download the zip file from the uh, GitHub. Where is the GitHub? Where did I? Here. You just download the correct zip from the, the zip file from the GitHub of Scorpion81. And after doing that, you install it like any other add-on with the install and you enable it and that's it. And then you will have molecular. You have this option here in the particle settings. So we can go here, we can enable molecular. Now we have molecular, but if we press play, we are not using molecular, okay? Molecular needs its own uh, simulate bot button. Let me drink a bit. Oh my God, I now have beverage. Okay, so we're going to enable calcul uh, calculate particles weight by density. Why? Because I want water density. It's only working on 2.80. Uh, well, yes and no. Uh, this version is only working on 2.80. Yes, the Scorpion 81 version is only working on 2.80. Please change properties with a liner position so we can see what you... Oh my God. Thanks, TBS. I'm going to do something better. I'm just going to open here a properties editor. And I think I can flip to right. Okay. And this. I think this is better. Because down here there is nothing important. Yeah. I think this is better. So. Uh, we have molecular. We enable calculate particles. Ah, by the way, Mag9. I think you can find molecular for 2.79. If you cannot find it, you can go to Blender Chat in the uh, in in my channel, in Bone Studio Life channel, in Blender Chat. You can ask for it because Saf Martin has the 2.7 inversion. Uh, in fact, I think he has a 2.7 inversion work a ver a working version with daily builds with 2.79 daily builds. So we have water and we enable activate collision with others and this is going to be useful for later to control the the ice cubes uh, we don't need linking and that's it we just configure here the sub steps we are going to use uh, eight sub steps for the time being and we can test if the simulation works okay as you can see, it's not a crazy simulation anymore. It's much more stable. But we may need to apply hmm, a bit of damp, a bit of damp. Yeah. So let's cancel this. We can check what we have. Not bad. Let's apply a bit of damp in. Uh, well, it's a damping. This is at, at collision time. So no, I'm going to try with the physics damp to 0 0.1 
uh, without drag, well, with a bit of drag. And let's check what happens now. So start molecular simulation. And that's it. Okay, it's more stable now. As you can see, the fluid is much more stable. Great. Let's uh, allow this to finish. No, 900. Okay, now, now we have a much more stable liquid. Great. Now we need to make the objects to uh, interact with the liquid. How can we do this? Well, we just need this ice cube. We can have this ice cube here. Let's be sure that it's over the glass of water. And for example, we can rotate this a bit. And this is going to have another uh, particle uh, system. So we enable particles and we enable this to frame one to frame one. Like with a glass of water, we need particles to be uh, born in the frame number one. And lifetime, 100 frames. Uh, source, it's going to be volume and grid. Okay, if the grid is uh, too broad, it's too big, we can reduce it. If the particles are too, too big, we can re reduce the number of particles, but in this case, uh, sorry, the size of particles, but in this case, we don't need the, we don't need the particles to be uh, super detailed. So we can just reduce the resolution and we are going to get the effect we want with less uh, computation time. So this may work. And this is going to be Newtonian. We don't need to uh, configure this as, as fluid, of course. And let's go to render, known as render, viewport display, points. And okay, let's define a material to have some color. Oh, we have uh, the ice material. Let's put here another material for the particles. So settings, no, uh, viewport display. Pablo Neira, that's normal if you don't understand English because this is an English uh, live streaming. So it's normal that you cannot understand this. Ah, so it's not actual rigid body interaction, but faking it by using other particles to interact. Yes, exactly. It's, I don't know if you know uh, Lagoa Multiphysics from, uh, from uh, Softimage, but this uses the same principle, and it's the same principle used also in particle flow in 3ds Max with the particle skinning. So uh, we are going to use other particles to drive our geometry. So we are going to make the fluid interact with... Uh, it's going to be a particle versus particle interaction, but we are going to deform a geometry object like the ice cube with those particles. Yeah, today I'm going a bit fast. <laughs> that, that's true. I said it. I'm going to strike to the point. So, if we press play, we have nothing, okay? We have the old cast from molecular. But we go to the particles and we define the colors material. Oh, well, it's not using my material color. Okay, it's using the first material, sorry. So, let's put some pink particles. And for the time being, we are going to hide this object with the uh, build. In the same way we did with the glass of water. So we have this here. We enable molecular. We calculate the density, that's important. And here we need a lower density than water. Why? Because if we want things to flow, it has to, it, it, it must have a lower density than water. Otherwise, it will sink. So, our current density for what it is uh, this value. So we can go here and we should make sure. Uh, by the way, if we change this to uh, to any of those of those presets, this value is not going to be updated until we press simulate. Okay. So right now, this value is one thousand. So we can go here and put. Yeah, for example, this should give us uh, yeah, a lower density. So let's try with this. 
So glass, let's save. Uh, no, don't activate safe collision. Activate collision with others, that's important because uh, this way particles will collide with other particles. And now let's enable particles linking and don't enable particles linking with others. With particles linking, we are going to maintain the original particle structure. So we are going to maintain this cube. So now maximum linking only with, I don't know, with 20, maximum links, 20, search distance, this, this is important, search length. Search length is the distance that the system is going to look for other particles to be linked. So if we increase this, we are going to get more links and if we get more links, we get more stability or uh, more st stiffness in the system. But if uh, we use um, excessive uh, search length, we are going to get instability in the system. So it's a matter of uh, maintaining it in a level, in a, in a good level. Is this Pavel version of the molecular script? No, it's not. It's based on it, but I will show this again. So where is uh, my GitHub? Yes. It's based on the Pavel uh, version, but the Pavel version was not working at this the, the, with the latest uh, Blender 2.8 um, uh, builds. So Scorpion81, the developer from uh, Fracture Modifier, uh, adapted it to the latest version of uh, Blender 2.8 and fixed it some small bugs. So it's not the Pavel version. It's a newer one with uh, some bugs fixed and working in the latest 2.8. So if we increase the search length, we are going to get more stiffness uh, in the system and the match links. Well, uh, let me leave this at 10 and we can leave the rest as it is. Right now we don't need to modify this. So in this case, uh, broken, no, no broken. I think it was zero, no 100. How much link? Ah, yeah, okay. So let's increase this to 1000. So uh, this broken is the distance, the maximum distance a particle can separate from its uh, linked particle so when it reaches this distance, it will break the particle apart. So we don't want the particles to be broken. So we increase this to an absurd amount and that's it. Almost the same link settings are also in Fracture Modifier. Yeah, it's, it's similar. In fact, I think the Fracture Modifier team is uh, implementing some of this inside the Fracture Modifier. Some of this. And it's great because it's very fast. So that's okay. And now we can start the molecular simulation. And here you can see how the ice cube is over the water, but we can make the ice cube to be a bit more inside the water because right now it's practically over the water. One important thing is that when we configure substeps, we have eight substeps, so it's going to uh, to multiply our amount of frames by a number. For uh, it's not exactly uh, by eight because it gives us uh, 100 uh, frames, but it's going to calculate one 100 frames, not one. Uh, sorry, 900 frames, not 100 frames. So we can check the simulation and the ice cube or at least the particles are floating over. That's great. Let's uh, fix this a bit more. Let's use uh, a bit more density. And let's simulate again. Now the cube is a bit more inside the water. I think this is way better. Okay, as you can see here, you can see 900 frames. It's not that your synth has now 900 frames, it's just for the calculation. So it goes up to 900 and then we have our 100 frames again. So we can see this and that's it. We have our ice cube. Great. Now, what do we have to do to get the actual 
liquid mass. Actualize will be a value. Yeah, it, it, the values could be more correct or incorrect. I always work in um, uh, in an artistic way. So we can go and configure the value you say, for example. But keep in mind that right now this cube is like uh, 0.2 meters because of particle performance with very small, very little particles. So I don't think these values are any uh, near anything near realistic values. So we go here and we, but we can try, why not? It's more inside the liquid. It's cool, anyways. Great, thanks for the value. Okay, iceberg in a glass. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In a, in a, in a king-size glass. So we have our 900 frames, and we have our ice cube. So now we get to a point that how can we create or a water mess, because this has been a problem since ages. In Fractal Modifier, this, there is, a, um, uh, and I saw it before, there is a remesser, a um, metabol remesser, that allows us to uh, mess particles. But right now, uh, Martin, Martin Felke, uh, Scorpion Unity One is working in a separated modifier for uh, mesh particles and it's not inside uh, fractal modifier it's uh, it can be included in any build so right now if we go here and we use the pot particle measure let's hide this we can go here we can uh, increase the radius scale to two for example Voxel size to 0.1. Ah, oh, of course, define the particle system. Okay, we crashed. Did I save? I'm not sure. Awesome. So this is how you crash Blender. Let's go to recover the last auto save. And it was not bad. What was the density? Of course, let me enable molecular. Okay. And the density was configured as water here. And okay, not bad. Let's simulate again molecular the blender crash experience yeah but it crashes way less than other apps I can assure you that I used to work with an app that is able to crash when you open it just that you you open it and the settings were corrupt then it crashes I will name it it's like Voldemort but you know, in software. Okay, we have a glass of water. Let's try again the particle measure. So let's remove the build and let's put the, let me save. And let me also save the preference because I think they are not being saved. And let's use the particle measure. Let's configure particle settings. Okay, and now 0.1 and 0 0.0, no, 0 0.1, let's, and 1.2. Let's increase this. Okay, now here we have our mess. And this mess is too big. So we can reduce this, but if we reduce the radius scale, we are going to need a bigger voxel size. So 0.05. 0.025 should be enough. No, that's okay. It's the radius scale. And that's okay. But you may say, 
hey Juan, but the fluid is going to be out of the glass of water. Well, yes and no. This is where OpenVDV magic comes in. So let's reduce even a bit more. 0 0.02, 0 0.015. Yeah, that's okay. And yeah, we can. Mm, that's okay. Let's try. Okay, now we can see how can we modify this. Okay, this is okay. <coughs> ah, but we don't have the booleans. Oh, what a pity. Yeah, we don't have we don't have the booleans. So we are going to make this even smaller. And we should get much more particles to get a uh, correct liquid. Oh, what a pity we don't have the booleans. Scorpion, we don't have the booleans. I didn't, I, I was not remembering that. Oh, what a pity. I forgot it. Because with OpenVDV booleans, we can just remove the glass of water from the from the actual water mess. So we get a perfect water type volume of water in the glass of water. But since we don't have yet the booleans in this modifier, we can add we can add these uh, these uh, kind of um, filters. So we get some filtering for fluid. It's not bad for water. Okay, but it's not the same. So if we want more water, we need more particles. Okay, let's hide the glass. What a failure. It was my fault. Okay, now we have some kind some kind of water. If you want proper water, you will need to use uh, much more particles. I won't do it now because of performance. So let's try to move the actual mess that we have here. Because if we press play, we get nothing. We don't get movement. Why? Because we need two messes and a particle system. We need two messes because we are going to create a sphere, an icosphere. In a future, I will have to work with Autodesk software. I think I will appreciate more Blender than I do now. Now, uh, well, it's not that the actual Autodesk software is bad. For me, the, the Autodesk software is okay. 3ds Max, I, I worked with 3ds Max more than more than 15 years. It's it's great. But the problem is what Autodesk is doing with licensing. So those rental only licenses, not subscription, it's, it's not subscription, okay? It's not sub okay, subscription or whatever it's called. You are not subscribe, subscribing to, to anything. You are just you are just renting the software. It's just a rental. And that rental licenses are very problematic and, and are pretty big danger for small and medium medium businesses so it's just politics of autodesk what is bad the software is not bad but blender is better i can assure you that blender is better 15 years working with max and for me blender is better yeah blender pro well. okay so now we need why well, it's not set picky test okay now we need uh to define this sphere as the uh, let's go here as the instance object inside uh, well no sorry sorry no we need to use the particle instance modifier so we get this and we get uh, this particle system where is my particle system Hello, particle system. Okay. Particle instance object 
this one and particles that's it so now we get those spheres and we can modify the size of the spheres and we can put this sphere in the zero 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 of the world so it, it is in the same place and now we scale the geometry so we get the particles we want that's okay we're always going to want a bit of tool of course it does not matter which uh, which one you are using at the moment you will always want another one that has more buttons or has them in another color no not in my case at least right now i don't want a different tool from blender i just want more features for blender but for example i know people that works with, works with blender and they dream to work with maya because they can't afford maya i can afford maya i have maya i have max mm, i don't care i don't use them anymore so they are forgotten in my computer and i don't want another app i, I i'm pretty happy with blender and i can improve it i said it many times i can improve blender I can program and I can hire a developer to program something for me. So I can improve Blender. I cannot improve Max or Maya. The camera. Okay, wait a second. I don't know why the camera dies. Camera shows an image of being in eternal night. Yeah. I was in a tunnel of night. I'm just at night. I'm mad man. Okay. After this nonsense. So now we have those messes, those, those spheres that are moving with the particles. And, and this trick is thanks to Scorpion81. It's thanks to you. You know that. Now we need a secondary uh, geometry of the uh, ice cube. So we made a duplicate. We go here, remove the particles. And this is going to be, this is ice uh, move, ice move, ice move. And now we go to modifiers and we pick a surface deform and we pick this one. We press bind. It's not cube. Cube. No, it's not cube. It's the icosphere. So I move the icosphere. We press bind. And then we can move. So if we hide the icosphere now. And we have or we had our original ice cube. We have an ice cube interacting with this. Now, why do we get this deformation? Because particles right now are not stiff enough and are not uh, stable enough. We should increase uh, subsamples. So we should go to uh, our original cube. To the particles one let's hide the ice move uh, ice move we should increase uh, sub steps for example 16 sub steps and we may increase a bit linking and that's it it's i found that with molecular it's very hard to get a completely stiff object okay a, a completely a rigid object so it may be possible, but right now I'm not sure how, other than increasing increasing sub steps. So, for example, 32, three of eggs. And do you want me to increase water? Let's try. Liquid. Let's disable the measure. The measure is also Scorpion's work. Oh no, I I remove it. And let's put the build modifier again. And let's increase the number of particles. So now th this is important because we had eight sub steps and this is where the, where the sub steps calculator comes in. We had eight, eight sub steps 
with 1514 particles. So this is our current number of particles and our low resolution result is okay. So we want the same result, but with a much higher number of uh, particles. So since I changed the... Uh... Okay, no, I didn't change for this. And now we have eight sub steps and we want how many particles do we want? So we go to the resolution and we compute, for example, 13, uh, 30, 30 particles is okay. So in 30 particles, we have one th uh, 11,000 particles. So we put here the same number we have here. And, he, and, and here it tells us uh, what value we should use for sub-steps, so 16 sub-steps uh, is going to be enough, but I want something better, so I I'm going to use 32 because of the ice cube. And now I have to multiply the particle size by this number, 0 0.50943. 50943, okay. So we go here, 50943 by 0 0.50943. And that's my correct particle size. So I don't have to guess. I can work a low resolution. After that, I go there, I use the substance calculator and I can uh, calculate the correct number for my particles. So that's okay. Let's try. It may explode or not. Or yes, it may, I don't know. Let's calculate. So now you see that the speed is not bad, but it's working. Oh my god. Okay, bye bye water. Yes, it explodes. Let's try to reduce again the what is it? I don't want such collisions. I know, no particles thinking. So what's happening here? We can reduce a bit more. Yeah, Fanta. We can reduce the size a bit more just to check if we make this improve. Because since it don't have any link, star molecular, let's check what happens now. Ah, of course, there is another important thing that I'm not sure if it's affecting or not, but in forces, no, in emission source velocity, we have normal velocity, one meter per second. Let's configure at zero meter per second. It makes sense, right? So let's start molecular simulation. And it's all exploding. Why is it, why is it exploding? Well, if it's, actually exploding we can modify it also by reducing the amount of liquid we have bear in mind keep in mind that i have not scaled the object i edited the geometry i entered inside the object and edited the actual geometry so the scale is kept at 1.0 so now not the particle measure, no, bid. Let's force a refresh. Okay. And let's try and see what happens. I don't know why is it why it's exploding. Why is it exploding? Okay, let's try one more thing. Collision with others, friction, damping, that's okay. Let's try another thing. Uh, let's try to reduce much more the, the size of the particles, but it should not explode. Uh, somehow the star frame, yeah, that's normal. 
But this is not normal is this. Why is it exploding? It's normal that it starts at frame 30 because I'm using 32 sub steps. So it's multiplying uh, my amount of frames, 100 frames, by the 32 sub steps. If you, if, you have, if I use 13 or, or 16, like it was recommended, you will see how this turns out in a different number. So there must be a physics because we have this value here, multiply other system, other particle system number by uh, 7.5, but I'm not sure what other values should we multiply we can yeah we can modify in fluid interaction or in advanced uh, we can use the interaction radius to 0.5 and see what happens okay that's better it's not super better, but it's better. You can see how the ice is breaking the water. And now it goes inside. Maybe the radius is too low. Yeah, it, it was the interaction radius. I forgot about it. So now it, it must simulate 1700 frames because of the sub steps. Let's keep the uh, size to the recommended one. 2.5, I think it was. And let's try again. So now it's a matter of trial and error until you know the correct settings for your configuration. We can also reduce the interaction radius to 0.3, for example. And it will explode less. Yeah, that's more normal. But of course, if you reduce the interaction radius, you are going to get less water volume. You have to keep that in mind. When you use more radius, uh, you are, the particles are going to interact earlier. So it's go they are going to collide before, uh, much uh, after than the, than with a lower interaction radius. And, and this is, too low. No, this is too low. We get a very little volume. So let's go to interaction radius inside. By the way, this is inside physics advanced. 0.45. Interaction radius on the ice cube particles is also a bit wide. Creates a gap between the ice and the water. No, it's not the interaction radius in that ca in this, in this case. Is it leaking into the glass? Yeah, here. But this is because uh, the grid algorithm inside Blender is kind of weird. So we get this kind of particles. But in the end, this can be deleted with a collider or something similar to kill that particle. So um, if we want more detail in the particles in the cube, we need to do the same. So it's not mandatory, but if we want more detail, we have to go here and we are going to reduce the particle size 0 0.05, for example, 0 0.04. And we can do another trick that we have our ice move, ice move. So we can scale the other cube the one that is generating particles. So the collision is going to be much better. But with the open VDV measure, the good thing is that we can also add the cube that is going to fall into the water as a Boolean object. So it's going to be a pretty perfect fit around the, the cube. 
but right now that feature is not it's still not implemented scorpion 81 we want we want booleans i didn't remember that in the particle measure we don't have booleans we want booleans so now we modified let's hide this we modified the uh, ice move and that's okay yeah, we can try let's see what happens uh, by the way there is no uh, interaction radius in physics as you can see there is no advanced uh, tab here why because this interaction radius is just for fluids it's for the sph simulator it's sph integrator uh, sorry sph physics type so uh, there's no advance, we can enable Verlet, it's not going to make a big difference here. So there's no uh, interaction radius here. We can also use a bit of drag, 3.5, 3.5, drag and dump in this case. And let's uh, start the simulation. Let's save and simulate. Okay, the cube is not exploding. Water is kind of better. Let me go for something to drink while it simulates. So here I am. Okay, not bad. It's pretty stable. Molecular native in Blender Core C, C++ or in planes. Scorpion81, if you are here, I summon you. Are you doing th something in those lines in Fracture Modifier? Ah, it's not too good. The, the, the ice cube is being broken. That's why I prefer to have a lower amount of particles in the rigid bodies. Oh, I'm out of focus. Focus, Juan. Focus. Yeah, for simulate sun is pretty cool. The only problem here is that for sun we need like a lot of millions of particles, so it's it's slow. For that I recommend storm. I'm using storm right now and it's awesome. Let me show you the website. Uh, because I really recommend this software. It's closed source, it's not open source, and it can communicate with Blender using Alembic. And I will do some tutorials and videos about it. But it's a very good software. I saw it in the latest Spanish uh, live streaming and I'll show it again with Eloy Andaluz also uh, in English in maybe about a month. I'm not sure. It depends on Eloy work, Eloy's work and my work. But it's cheap. The indie license is just that and the studio license is just that. So it's cheap and it's pretty, pretty cool and pretty, pretty fast. Uh, Molecular is kind of the same thing but it's a bit slower so it depends on what you need hey hello hello storm from the wind yeah but we want uh, 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 an integration with blender you know that <laughs> especially now that we have the particle skinning so it breaks i don't want to be here configuring the cube for ages so I'm just going to lower the amount of particles and to increase the size 0 0.06. The main thing is that you have to be sure that particles are not interpenetrating in any moment at the birth, okay? At this birth time. So that's enough and we can increase search length, it's okay. Max links, we can increase max links, 15. Or 20 and let's leave this that way and let's try the liquid was okay the ice cube was not
You know, Aloy, that I tried some new things today in Storm. I won't speak about them, but they are so cool, man. They are so cool. I have to say that it's evolving pretty fast. And Sebastian is an awesome developer. And now the cube is behaving correctly, I think, but the density is not good enough. Because right now it's over the water. So let's use a bit more density for this. And we go... Where is my density? Here. Okay, we can try... Right now my water density is... It's like pretty big so we can try this and use for example let's try this is a crazy number as I said I don't use physically correct values just artistic values why because these are not physically correct objects so if the objects are not correct the values are not correct Is the water? No, the scale is correct. So it's weird the, the change in, in density. And now it seems it's a bit better. Let's hope it don't sink. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Great. Okay. It's okay. Let's uh, allow this to finish. So, Mantaflow. Are we going to be able to do this with Mantaflow? Yeah, probably at, at some point. Even we may be able to uh, simulate sand with Mantaflow at some point. For the time being, Nope, we are not going to be able to do this with Mantaflow for the time being. Ah, uh, density is not correct. It's still not correct. Well, doesn't matter. You get the idea. So, for the time being, we are not going to be able to do this uh, rigid body interaction, interaction with Mantaflow. So if you need this kind of interaction, it's better that you rely in molecular and you use this technique to, uh, to mix uh, fluids and, and rigid bodies, or kind of rigid bodies. As you can see, uh, Cebeas, it was leaking into the glass, but right now it's not leaking into the glass. But we need the booleans, the OpenVDB booleans enabled in the modifier, as I said. Come on. Okay, I, I will stop here at frame 50. Okay, just 50 frames. It's kind of crazy, but now we can go here, we remove the build, let me save. And we get the particle measure. Let's remove the median filter for the time being. And let's see what we get. So we can reduce the radius scale to 0.6, for example, 0 0.4, uh, 0.05, 0.5, hmm, 0.6. So if you want a more detailed, uh, more detail in the liquid, you are going to need much more particles. This is what happens with an SP8 simulator. So 0.7, we can go the voxel size, sorry, the voxel size to 0 0.07. Then now we can enter a filter. You can experience with different filters. Let's reduce the iteration and let's increase the radius. 
Okay. Molecular is the Phoenix Beard. Yeah, yeah, it's reborn. It's reborn. So now we go to frame zero. We hide our cube. We sew our ice move. Of course, we need to unbind and bind again. And we can do another thing. We can go here and make the particles invisible. So we get our liquid. Oh, we get a ring of water. It's kind of crazy right now. Why? Oh, it's not baked. Okay, we can try to bake this way. Let's try. It's not baked because uh, when molecular is, is simulating, it's not going to bake at, uh, in real time. Well, it's calculated. Let's disable this. Uh, let's enable this and disable this. Enable the build at 1000. And now we can simulate. Let's save. So uh, it's going to bake the simulation if it finishes. Okay, so if it don't finish, uh, it's not going to bake the simulation. It's going to bake. It's going to do like a playback cache, but uh, the simulation is not going to be baked. When you are spoiled by pausing, resuming, resuming bakes in Manta Flow Flip, yeah. Well, at least in Manta Flow you can pause the the simulation, check how is it going, and press play. I think you can do it. Also that in in flip fluids now. Of course, we are not seeing the liquid particles, and this may be being a problem. I'm not sure. Yeah, it was a problem. So rebake. Remember to sew your particles for the simulation. Yes, 850 frames. If you have you have questions, this is the correct moment to ask them. And I'm going to focus myself. I focus myself to avoid the camera going off. That's it. That's the main reason. I have to change the camera. For an actual video camera, no, not a DSLR. Bon Studio. Okay, you made the, the question in Spanish and I said in English. No problem. Is there a way to animate something to avoid that it calculates? Uh, uh, uh. You mean with this technique or with uh, or with uh, Manta Flow? So uh, the question is. Is there a way to animate something to avoid it to calculate to be, yeah, to avoid the particles to be calculated in zones where I know that the volume is going to be uniform, so it's not going to have any movement with molecular? Uh, yes and no, because yeah, you can mix uh, different particle systems and use the particle measure, so you can use. Uh, you can use different simulations. For example, you can use a um, uh, big steady simulation of water and you can use a different simulation of water that is the one that you are going to use. And you can uh, like fuse them in just one particle system using, how was it called? Let's, let's allow this to, to end and I will explain this. But you can fuse those two simulation systems and use the particle measure to uh, bring them together. Or if we have the particle measure and we have the open VDV remesher, you can generate the mess for those two liquid systems and then use the open VDV remesher to fuse those two systems in just one system. So 
you just have to make the simulations in small zones. So now we have this. Okay. Let's hide this. Let's show this. And let's, let's save. That's important. Let's remove the build. Let's save again. And here we have our liquid. But of course it's, oh. As someone said, the, colli the collision shape is too big. So since we are just faking things, mm, we can use a displace modifier. And uh, zero point one. Oh wow, this is ugly. No, we can try to scale the the actual shape and go to frame one and bind bind. It's better. This is something to to be worked out. So with more particles or with uh, a smaller uh, smaller inner mesh, a smaller driver, so to speak. So this can be solved. And especially with the booleans, I really expect to have the, the booleans in the, part, in the particle measure because with the booleans, we are going to be able to just do the perfect volume cut for the ice cube. So the particle measure is part of molecular. Now, I don't, I'm not sure. Is, there, is a, there is a particle measure inside molecular, uh, inside fracture modifier, but... Uh, ah, no, okay. Uh, my bad. So the particle measure is part of molecular. No, it's not part of molecular. It's a patch that is being done by uh, Scorpion81, and everyone can uh, patch his build of Blender with, with it. It's on development. It's not finished. What was the glitch? The build modifier, it has like a uh, boolean. No, the glitch uh, here, the problem here is that the particles, the, the particles are too big, probably they are too big and they are colliding mm, too soon with the other particles, with the liquid particles. This, everything gets solved when you have much more particles and a much more detailed uh, particle system for the HPH and the, and the object. So it's a branch and no, it's not a branch. It's just a patch. But uh, yes, it's it's inside a branch. You can get it here. Let me show you. So you can get a Windows build. It's not updated yet. I will update uh, or build. This is our studio build. It's like the Terry Studios build, but with some other modifications. So this is our, our studio build. We have this, uh, these uh, modifications and we are going to have also this particle measure. So tomorrow I will upload, uh, upload the Windows version tomorrow. And if you want to build it yourself, you can go to, uh, let me show you. You can go to my GitHub. Basically is the studio GitHub. And you can go to Bone Master, and inside Bone Master, there is the all the code you need. It's just a like a fork. It's not exactly a fork, but like a fork of Blender. But I update this fork with uh, the master uh, regularly. And you can go to Wiki, and inside Wiki, you have the instructions to build your own uh, Bone Master in your in your system especially if you use linux because i don't upload uh, linux builds yet i'm preparing a machine to do the the static linux build but i don't have it ready yet so uh, you have here the instructions to build your own bone master version does that build have mantaflow then too no it does not <laughs> mantaflow is a much more complicated thing to integrate mantaflow in my own in my own build I think it's much more complicated. So I prefer to wait until Mantaflow is ready and is integrated in master because Mantaflow is such a big change in, inside Blender that it could break the, the actual build. 
What if you use particle Scorpio? Hey, what if you use particle instance mode on the SPH particles and open VDB remaster instead? Uh, I'm not sure whether that work. It might need to test. So you mean use particle instance modifier on the SPH particles and then open VDB remaster? It could have worked. Yes, I, I just have to try. I'm not going to try now because I don't have the build with the pads. That's what I why that's what I why I asked you uh, if I could mix both uh, patches. Developer blender developer blender.org slash So this is the uh, OpenVDB remesser. This is going to remess objects. And this is, if I'm correct, and this is the uh, particle remesser. So this is the one I'm using right now. And this is the uh, actual object remesser. So in this uh, modifier version, we have the Boolean operations. In the particle uh, modifier, we don't have the Boolean operations yet. But in this one, yes, we have the Boolean operations. So it could have worked, yes. It could have worked. It's possible. I will try in another build. So uh, that's it. We can try to render and we are finished. But of course, the liquid is going to be uh, interpenetrating the, the glass of water. Rise this bit. Uh, okay, where is my glass of water? Here. And here we have. We can change. Let's change the material. Sorry, what was. Ah, okay, yeah. My GitHub link. Let me put this. This is the wiki link. And my GitHub is just my name, github.com slash Juan Gea is my github. So you will have to be able to build master, to build Blender, just to build Blender. And once you are able to build Blender, then you come here and you can follow these instructions to make your own build with this, uh, with this github. You won't lose your ability to continue building master. So with these instructions, you just add a new remote to your GitHub. So at any moment you can say, hey, I want the code from Bone Studio, from Juan. And in general, you are going to get the updates from master. But if you want Bone Master, you will get the code from Bone Master and you will be able to, to build it. So that's cool. Let's change a bit the material of the, of the water. The liquid material. Oh, it's just the glass material. Why is just the glass material? La, la, yeah. No, I want a liquid material. So no rodness, no rodness. And it has like a big hole here. <laughs> we need better, uh, much more particles. But we can change the color, for example, I don't know. It's like whiskey. So we can hide the glass. What am I changing? Why I don't get the, the, the color here? Well, we can make this a bit more complex and I will finish, I promise. How much time has gone? We are in one hour, 20 minutes. Okay. I will finish in, in, a, in no time. So let's go here and instead of changing the actual uh, color of the water, we are going to add a volume uh, volume absorption to the volume absorption. Let go. Let's go to light paths. Let's add volume. Yes, these these numbers are too high. Okay, don't use these numbers. 
I use these numbers, but you shouldn't. So we go here. Something weird is happening here with the mess. I'm not sure what it is. It could be ah, it could be the the refraction. No, but the, the, the value is correct. Yeah, it could be that, but that's not correct. To do that is not correct. Transmission color. Not exactly. The transmission color... Well, yeah, we can modify the transmission color, but that's not a cool... A cool trick. And with the Boolean operators, we are going to be able also to get the perfect shape for the glass of water. That's so cool. We can use... Uh, we don't have transmission color, Sebos. Have base color and we can go all the way to red, but why are we getting this? Is because of reflection, probably. It should be the reflection. Yes, it's the reflection. The environment is too, 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 too hard. So, okay, I, I will finish here without having a glass of wine. I don't understand why. I will discover why. But right now, I don't know why. Hmm. Maybe it's because there is too much light. I don't know. This is weird. Well, let me try. Maybe maybe we found a problem with the scramble distance. Nope. It's not a scramble distance problem. We can do another trick. We go here and if we use, this is something pretty bad. But if we use solidify, as you can see, we get the correct effect. This is a pretty bad trick, okay? This shouldn't be needed, but okay, I did it. So here we have our blood on the rocks. Let's focus the render time here. Our blood on the rocks. So now that's how you can make uh, kind of rigid bodies to interact with liquids. I think it's a good trick and I miss the, the boolean operation, but I think it's a good trick. In this kind of work, can't you apply a boolean that eliminates what touches the glass and keep the surface and what touches... Yes, that's, that's the idea, but it's not the standard boolean because it will fail. It, 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 it would be fatal. Uh, it's the open VDB booleans. The, if, ideally, we should apply a, an open VDB boolean to the liquid volume so we cut out the exact uh, geometry of the glass of water but right now we cannot do that because it's not enabled technically you would need a way to separate the top of the fluid from the side bottom here for different IRR for not exactly a realistic rendering it should not need for that trick because uh, we're speaking about something realistic and in reality you don't separate the liquid the top part of the liquid from the inner part of the liquid you don't separate that so not exactly you shouldn't need to do that right now the liquid is outside i think it's outside the glass of water yeah it's it's a bit outside the glass of water let's set this mm. Well, we could modify the glass of water, we can enable 
a filter here or reduce the voxel size so for no that's not what I want plus nah this is a cheap trick okay it's not good but that way we don't get any kind of of fluid outside the the glass of water and maybe right now since we have the actual object we may be able to disable this and we get the correct result that's it so now without the solidify, we get the correct result. The problem was that it was outside the, the glass of water. I'm silly. I can do nothing. Uh, translate, please. Uh, in fact, if they are separated. Ah, in fact, they are actually, they are actually separated. Yes, they are separated. Uh, by the, I don't know how to translate pedernal. By the pedernal and the pass between two IOR, two different IORs, uh, depending on the surface or across the glass. Yeah, exactly. That's why we should not need to separate the different surfaces of the fluid, because physics should separate that. And the problem was that the, the liquid was uh, Trans, uh, trespassing, trespassing the, the glass of water. Now we have more or less, it's not perfect, but we have more or less the correct effect. Because transmission IOR, let's remove this and all the roundness. Let's remove all the roundness. And that's it. I'm done. I hope you liked it. Please, if you liked it, press the like button, subscribe to the channel, <clears throat> you will find that I, 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 I don't say my live stream is in advance, especially the English ones. So yeah, subscribe to the channel, press the little bell, subscribe to our Twitter, Bone Studio and Im. I will leave the Twitter here, just in case you want to subscribe. Bone Studio and Im and uh, the same for our Instagram. And that's it. See you in the next live English live streaming. Bye.